go. Good afternoon. Could you please tell us your name, your occupation, and the name of your organization? My name is Shirley Price. I'm the president of the Jamaica Household Workers Union, and I was a domestic worker for 31 years. Now I've evolved and um, now doing social work where I work with the lowest set of people, which is low income. Most of them still domestic workers. This year, the focus of the NETS and the IDWF in the ILC is ending violence and harassment in the world of work. Would you be willing to talk a little about how violence and harassment in the world of work has affected you and your colleagues? Violence and harassment is a scourge that needs to stop. It has affected domestic workers right across the board. Every country globally is the same cry with violence and harassment for domestic workers. I'm a spitting image of, of, of violence and harassment of domestic workers because I was so violated, I was so abused as a domestic worker where I had to sleep in a doghouse at one point when I was trying to go to school to better myself and my employer would lock me out of the house and I had to sleep in a doghouse for months. So it has affected all of us. You know, in my union, we have many cases where domestic workers um, testify of the abuse of um, employers and employers' children. And, and um, we, we have to take a stand and to say, time come, no more violence against us. And that's why we launched the Time Come campaign two years ago to say, enough is enough. You got to make a choice to say stop. Stop now. Time come. No more violence and harassment against domestic work. Time come. What are you hoping will come up during these discussions? Is there something specific to your particular work sector that you would like to see addressed? Yes, I, 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 I would like to see a, con a strong convention with um, a strong recommendation also because we need laws to be in place in our, in our own country to protect workers, especially domestic workers, because they are, we are the most vulnerable of all the workers because we work in the private homes, so we don't have anybody to, to, to look out for us, so we have to look out for ourselves. So we are saying that living here we must get a strong convention. Thank you very much.